we come to episode three of the Fortress of Stones, the Shattered Ken Dwarves. Uh, we are currently dealing with a miasma issue. Um, we butchered too many animals a little too quick. Uh, we're slowly working through it, though. Um, so hopefully we can get that figured out. Now, we are also filling up with blocks, or of rocks. Um, so, so we're going to go ahead and make some rock blocks. And let's go ahead and make 50 of them, just to empty out our storage a bit. Because it's, it's getting rough here. So here, um, we're going to tell this stockpile to grab stuff out of here. Because I'm seeing some metal ores and some useful ores that should be in this pile. And they're not. So we're going to go ahead and start emptying stuff out into there. So we just made some totems, which are going to go to our crafted box, which is up here. Uh, nothing's in there yet. Because I didn't tell this thing to come grab stuff out of here. Okay. So, eventually, um, your dwarves want to put... Like those totems that I just made, um, the dwarves put them in here somewhere. And the reason they put them in here is just because there's an available thing. And this is probably the, the top place on their list. It's the closest one. So they weren't bringing my finished goods here like I wanted them to. So when you do this and you tell them, hey, go grab it out of style, stockpile, stockpile. I cannot talk. Stockpile 15. Go grab that stuff out of stockpile 15, and they then put it on a more urgent thing. As you can see, we are now putting stuff in here. There's our totems. That is interesting looking. It's got like uh, feathers or something on it. Hmm. But now we're moving stuff up and down, um, which is good. Yes, it takes a little bit of manpower, but it will empty out my main storage area and as you can see we're also moving our metal ores down here because i told them hey go grab the stuff i want in here out of this pile um so that's what they're doing and we're actually filling up on our drinks which this pile will also become drinks when this is full so i'm okay with that we made some bone bracelets we have more bones so let's make some more bone bracelets because we have our next year's um Next year's trading thing with the dwarves from our mountain home, they are going to want bracelets, and we uh, wanted, what, crossbows and some seeds and something else. I forget what else I asked them for. Uh, but they're going to bring that stuff, and we're going to give them bracelets in return for an upped price. So we came down here and mined. So we have some lignite. Now I'm going to show you guys a little trick. Yes, I can come in here and click this and be like, mine that little bit of lignite. And then we'll see where our lignite is after that. But that's not what I'm going to do. If you come down here and you click this, which is your advanced options, you see this. Now, this is your priority list. Um, you, I don't really mess with this. If I click auto and I click these lignite veins, let's see if there's anything else that I want here. I don't think there is. It would Oh, there is. Okay. Claystone, Kelanite. Uh, I want this tetrahedrite, which is a silver ore, which is very valuable. Um, so I'm going to make statues, flask, that kind of stuff with that silver ore, and it's going to up the value of my fortress, which will then in turn bring migrants and better trading and all that jazz. So my miners will come down here and start mining and watch what happens. See how it, he automatically is like, oh, there's more tetrahydrate behind this. I'm going to mine that out. And we have haulers coming down already. Actually, let's grab, let's make some wooden wheelbarrows. Because they are moving mighty slow with that stuff in their hands. Let's make five of them. Uh, but yeah, our miner's going to automatically mine this stuff out. And look right here. So here's some turquoise. Actually, I don't think I've hit turquoise before. That's interesting. Um, it's one of my favorite rocks in real life. So we're going to. We're also going to want to. It works for jewels too. Like if I just did click that, he's going to automatically mine this one too. And that that's pretty handy. Um, yes. There's a reason why I do this separate from my main area, and that's because it gets messy. It looks funny. Now, you can mine out all this area and then, like, connect it and make it look blocky and more symmetrical and all that, but I usually take a couple of elevation levels and just kind of let them mine, and I don't worry about it, and I keep my fort looking very clean 
this way. So, I don't think we've hit any coal recently. We have not. But we are going to go ahead and make some charcoal. Let's make, you don't, you don't need a lot. You I think you only need one. I'm going to make four. I'm just going to burn, I think, four logs for, for charcoal. Am I still making bracelets? I'm not. How many more bones do I have? Good lord. It's telling me I have bone. Interesting. Don't know why it's telling me I have bone. If let's just make five and see what happens with these bones, then I mean, a gander's a bird which has hollow bones, so I don't know if you would use that. But llamas aren't hollow bone. Oh, 13. Oh, we have a lot of bone. Okay, let's do 20. I did do bone bracelet, yeah, I did. Okay, okay, our wheelbarrows have been completed, so we're gonna start moving stuff around a little bit faster here. Um, I'm also going to recenter this to here. Um, that way, when I press F1, F2, I'm kind of going right where I want to look. So masterpiece reindeer bone bracelets. That's nice. Okay, we got coal. Beautiful. That's what we want. So here's some jade clusters. We're going to mine those out. And we're also going to mine out this coal here. See if we hit anything along this vein. We did. Some more indigo tourmaline, which is amazing. We made... Uh, what was it? Cut gems that were worth like a thousand value. I don't know what the, the currency is. It's not really a currency. It's just like the general value of the item. Um, but yeah, we, we made some good profit. Okay, here's some lignite, which we can also make coke out of. And you need coke to... Um, there's more lignite here, actually. You need coke to craft metal or smelt metal. So we're going to go ahead and mine out all of that that we can. Now, we're just kind of keeping our fingers crossed that we don't hit a cavern. Usually, i found that when you get to that level, that elevation level, you see the cavern. Um, so, I'm not too worried about what's going on here. Because I feel like it would already told me, hey, there's a cavern down here. Yeah, this is plenty of coal and lignite. We're going to really be able to smelt some metal now. Some more lignite. Okay, awesome. That's perfect. And that should start popping up right here. Now, does it already count it as our item if it's down there? It does. Awesome. Okay, so this is what we'll do. We'll do coke and coal. We're going to go ahead and craft 30. And then we're going to Lignite. Let's craft 20. I don't know how much we have. We have 20. Perfect. I nailed it. And we're, we're currently getting more, too. So even better. So we hit something here. We stuck struck Tetrahedrite. So let's go ahead and mine that out, too. Because, like I said, Tetrahedrite is a silver-based ore. Well, it's 20% silver, and I think... I can't remember what the other one is. Let's see here. Copper. So copper's useful. Uh, we're going to make, like, buckets. Um, what else do we make out of copper? Flasks, all that stuff. Make statues and stuff out of silver. Like, it's very handy material to mine out. Is that Tetra H, right? What is that jet? Oh, no. Even more coal. And some more Tetra H, right? And then some gems here. Wow, we are really mining this out. This is awesome. We're getting a lot of really good material. And we already have plenty of regular rock. Uh, we're still crafting rock blocks out of that. All right. We do need to work on our food situation a little bit. We're okay. We have plenty. Um, but collecting some more. Now, we do need to... Let's see here. I did gather fruit and also mark this area that's awesome there we go because here are some pears and then some apricots there's plenty of fruit that we can make um drinks and other food with so we're going to go ahead and collect those i don't know why these have not been collected what is that noise why do i hear wolves 
There's no wolves going on. It must just be like ambient sound. That's a little bit odd, but I don't care about that. Um, we're going to go ahead and expand this just a bit. Let's get another like field or two in here. Oop, still had an auto. You do have to remember to swap that if you want to do regular mining. Yeah, let's do another two fields. And that also means we're going to expand our hallway here. There we go. So uh, we did get in our drawbridge. So if I pull this lever, it is not linked. Let's link the lever to this drawbridge. All right, somebody's going to come up here with a mechanism and do that. Um, main base is looking fine. Uh, mining area. Switch back to auto and see what we've hit. There are some tetrahedrite. Here's some limonite, which is an iron-based ore. Um, here's a ruby cluster. That's all I'm seeing right here. All good. That's all we got. Okay. So as you can see, this should start filling up uh, more and more people. We are smelting our coke. Uh, let's see how much coke we already have. 78. Like, it makes a ton. Uh, like, one coal or one lignite makes a lot. I don't know what the ratio is, but it's a good bit. I did create another statue. Let's put one down. What is that of? Oh, it's a bird of some sort. I don't know why there's so many birds. It's a white stork. What is this? Duncan Lesson. Oh, is this a person or something? The settling of the cougar woman in the Stoke Plains in 79. That is dope. That's some like legend stuff. Um, I didn't know you could read about that. The Zul Dybrown, the deity of food and jewels, a female dwarf and shale. Wow. Okay, that's awesome. That doesn't look like a female dwarf though. That looks like a I think, it, I think it's got a beard. I think they may have the uh, <laughs> depiction wrong a little bit. Do the female dwarves have beards here? Let's see here. I feel like Allen's a female. I think that means female. Pretty sure. Let's go look at it like a definite male. Let's see here. Okay, yeah. So the straight down's female. I always forget that. Okay, so we did hit some other stuff here. Chalcedony, I think that's how you say that, um, which is a gem. Uh, we have some more sapphires here. What is this? Smoky Quartz, which is super uh, cheap mineral. Um, but it's fine. I mean, we're going to cut it into gems. We're going to sell it. It does not bother me that it's a little cheap. It's going to get traded away in a bin. So... So here's some more touch of here, right? We're hitting a lot of this, actually. And here's some more limonite, which is iron-based, which is what we want. Okay. We are good. We are doing fine. Here's some more giant wrens. Um, they are a little more south still. Should be okay. Yeah, should be fine. Dang, our miners are getting after it. <laughs> I didn't know they've already like knocked this out. Uh, let's craft that. Craft that. So there's two more fields that we're going to be able to grow stuff out of. Okay. Um, do we need any more? No, we're not. Okay, let's go ahead and make a barracks. Um, I do want my barracks... To be right by the stairs, so we're gonna go ahead and do this. Two. I'm in auto mining still. My bad, guys. Boom. And then we'll go. Now, how am I gonna do barracks if I do? Yeah, let's do three out and make it vertical. Yeah, let's do vertical. That way, I can do four of them if I wanted to. So we hit some coal. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have to make a bunch of beds. 
Um, let's go ahead and make 20. We're also going to need to make... Uh, let's do rock weapon racks. Let's make five. And rock armor stands. Let's make ten of those. Fine with that. Then we're going to make uh, rock hoppers. Somewhere for them to store their stuff. That's it. That's all we need. For barracks. So we're going to put some of the beds up here. And then uh, put ten. Yeah, we'll put ten in here. Ten down uh, in the barracks. I don't know why I said down. It's actually up for my place. Still haven't collected these plants. Um, let me do this. I don't, I don't even worry about coming up here. Then. I need logs. I did not realize that. My bad game. My bad game. Let's cut down these because they are in my throwaway pile. Let's cut those down. I mean, that's like seven, eight trees. We're good. Go back to our mine. We still have so much to bring back up. But we keep hitting stuff, so let's keep mining those out. I want all of these gems. You guys are going to make me very, very rich. That's clay stone. Felt like I just saw like a corner. Sometimes these corners, you got to watch, because there'll be like a black gem or something in there, and your eyes just will not catch it. I think we're good. I think I've mined out everything we can see so far. I think so. So let's watch here. They just came down and mined out rubies, pyrites, and then we have some more lemonite. So like I said, I mean, we're going to hit the boundary here. I mean, she's probably going to mine down here and it's going to stop because we hit the edge of the map. So no matter what, is on the edge of the map, you can't mine it. Um, there will always be a wall there. Okay, so we're still crafting these farm plots. We got our trees chopped down, that's nice. Um, let me check my labor. Let's make sure, yeah, okay. Turn that off. Oh, let's also turn this off. Because now we kind of have everything settled out. Our people are going to do what they need to do. We have enough people that they can kind of swap and figure themselves out here. Yeah, like I said, this is the this is the boundary for the map, as you can see up here. Um, so I can't get this lemonite no matter what. So perfect. I mean, that's we hit everything in our strips that we've made. Uh, so now we can just cut more and mine from there, and eventually this place will just look like a spider web. So here's our barracks that we're going to make. Um, we're still crafting stuff, so I'm not going to start making it yet. Uh, but basically, we're going to have a, a handful of beds, a um, handful of armor stands, weapon racks, and then a place for them to store prepared meals and drinks, um, and then have their coffers. So actually, we're gonna, what we're going to do is going to make this, which is going to be their food and drinks. Uh, three by three. Okay, so our weapon racks have been completed. So we'll go ahead and place those. Then military. So let's make it, I mean... There's five, so it's going to be kind of awkward looking, but it needs a weapon rack. Did I only make three? I thought I made five. I could have swore it said five. Maybe they just hadn't made it to the... Yeah, they didn't make it to the pile yet. So we're almost done with the armor stands, too. So I'll go ahead and start placing those. I'll do it along this wall. And we're going to turn this into a barracks. I think that went under the mining thing too. We're going to tell the geared planks that they can 
do everything in here. This is their area. <clears throat> so, defense-wise, we haven't worked on anything. Basically, if push came to shove and we needed to defend, we're not going to. We're going to pull our drawbridge up and hide because we have all of the food and stuff we're going to need. Um, we don't have water. I need to enclose this, like, ASAP. Actually, we have plenty of blocks. Let me... Let me do this. Two. Actually, no. Select material, because they'll, they'll do some whack stuff and give me a material that I don't want to use. Um, let's use mudstone blocks. Now, I don't need to... Like really connect anything yet. There we go. I hate how it just slowly goes down the list and I have to like, like go find it again. Let's do this. Dude, the noises that this game is making is so wild. Like I can't figure out what's going on in my ear. Alright, let's cut this tree down. <clears throat> And also, we're going to mine, do a 2x2 two two area. Um, and we'll just mine all the way up to here. Okay, our armor stands and coffers have been completed. So what we're going to do is come up. And I'm going to make a new... This is our barracks level. Go right here. And this is going to be F4. So F1 is our main area. F2 is our, oh, F1 is our entrance, F2 is our main area, F3 is our mine, and F4 is going to be our barracks. We're going to go ahead and finish putting these down. That's fine. That's plenty. Do we have an extra weapon rack? Is there any way? No, okay. I just don't like that that's like that. Let's crack one. Stone, and I, I hate how it says rock instead of stone. Um, craft. You know what? Let's craft five, because I know we're going to need some when we get a mayor and everything. Um, let's throw some beds down. Don't care what the, the beds are made out of. There we go. And also our furniture. We're going to go rock coffer, which is under chests. And we're just going to kind of line this area with them. That's fine. That's a little annoying, but actually, let's do this. There we go. And they'll train and stuff in these empty spaces here. Okay, so our Coke industry is killing it. We're done, basically. So let's do this. Type in night, and this gives you um, a couple of the iron type ores. I think I think limonite and yeah, I think limonite is one. Um, so we have forty limonite, fifty tetrahedrite. So let's go ahead and smelt those. Limonite, we had forty. Smelt forty, and then tetrahedrite, we had fifty. We're gonna smelt fifty. And that should give us silver, iron, and copper, I believe. Yep. Yeah, limonite is pure iron. So that's what we're going to be getting out of that. Okay, so we, when we bought that iron bar last episode, or two episodes ago, I believe, whenever the trade caravan came, we did only get one. I was wondering if that was multiples or just one bar, and it was just one bar. So we paid 50 value for one bar of iron, which... I don't think it's worth 50. Actually, yeah, I would trade a bed gem for an iron bar. Wait for the save. Alright. Spring has arrived. Spring has sprung, ladies and gentlemen. 
So what are, we, what are we rocking with? We're still got a little bit of bone. Could probably make another thing of bone bracelets for only five. There we go. I think antler can be used for bone stuff. That makes sense to me. So I feel like if you're crafting something or carving bone, like deer antler, cow antler is a bit different because it's really just a shell over a bone. Ah, and that bone's very porous, I think. I think like cow antlers and what else would be like that? I can't think of anything, but they're, I think they're porous. It's like a soft bone on the inside there. Go ahead and place some more beds here in our dormitory. I don't know how many I have, so I'm trying to make it even. Let's just stop it there. I think I made 20, so that's four. four. Why did one not get placed? Oh, I'm out. Okay, so seven. I think I just placed 10. That sucks. I wanted that to be even. But we have plenty of wood now. We're still collecting all this metal and stuff out of here. We need to make more rock blocks because we are filling up with our stockpile. Let's go ahead and make another 50 rock blocks. Um, let's go back up here. I need this gut down, like ASAP. So let's go into labor. Let's lock in a miner and lock in our carpenter. So they should immediately start mining this stuff. And there we go, chopping that wood. Go down here. Yeah, I think we mined out everything. So now we're just down here collecting all our stuff and bringing it to the top. Hmm. Okay. So antler cannot be used for that. What can I use antler for? Is there anything I can craft with antler? No. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder what you can use antler for. Uh, the hair and the wool, I know I can craft into thread. The hoof and the antler, no idea though. I do not know what to do with those. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Oh, how many rough gems do we have? We could have been doing this the whole time. We have 55 rough gems. Let's do cut gems. 50. Just to get a lot of value in our fort here. Now, I don't know if the stockpiles count as value um, towards your fort to attract migrants and everything, but in my head, it makes sense. If you have a treasure hoard in your fort, does that not you know, count towards the value? I feel like it would. Let's go check out our barracks. Our barracks is looking mighty fine. Now we did give this, yeah, we did give this to the geared planks. Awesome. So we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to go boom. We're going to do custom. So your warriors carry a backpack and a flask or a water skin, and they will carry a drink, and they want prepared meals with them. So we'll, we'll do drinks. We'll do prepared meals. Um, and I think that's all we need out of this yes now we're also going to go to ammo we want to give them arrows bolts um i don't it doesn't matter with those uh and we want all of the materials all of them so in here we're going to have the meals and drinks that they need and also any ammunition that they would need and they're going to automatically store weapons armor and some personal items and stuff in these chests They'll just do that by themselves, so we're not going to worry about that. Now, we should be crafting iron. Let's see how much iron blocks we have. 37. Um, so we can go ahead and go boom. And we'll do... Let's make iron breastplate. Let's make five. I only have three warriors, so five is plenty. Let's also make an iron helm. Let's also do five of these. Iron leggings. Let's do five. And then, gosh, I feel like our guys are axe dwarves. Ah. Um, 
Battle Axe. That's what it's called. Craft five of those. And we'll also do iron. Let's do iron swords. Oop. I'll short swords. Let's do five of those. Okay. So that's going to give us a base armor set. Your chest piece, leggings, helmet. Need shields. I need shields. Hold on. I forgot about those. Do iron shields. Let's make five of those. Okay. Now we're good. That's going to give us a base. Now we're going to go check out our silver. We have seven silver bars. Let's wait until we get some more of that. And I'm going to start making um, flasks. Actually, we have 30 copper bars. Let's make some copper flasks. And let's make, let's make 15. So our warriors will carry those, and also our people will drink out of them and stuff. So um, those are handy to have. Now, we are still making plenty of rock blocks, plenty of gems. We're going to start crafting our weapons and stuff here, flasks. We're also still smelting a ton of iron and a ton of silver and copper. So we are in our industrial phase finally here. Now, I can also go workshops and make another metal smith. As you can see, we have an extra uh, anvil here. Oh, that is not what I want. Workshop, metal smith. Let's select the material because I want them to use jet for our workshops. So, this cartilage and stuff, let's get rid of that. Actually, hold on. Let's craft more walls. I think I use mudstone. We're also going to get rid of these slopes here. Because I do not like the way they look. And there are so many wolves just howling for no reason. There's not even wolves on my map. Okay, this is... Oh, no. Oh. I was using mudstone bricks. Where are those at? They're there. Okay. Now I'm going to show you guys how to like build. If you wanted to build another layer here, it's pretty simple. What you would do is you build stairs going up to the next level. So this level right here, build your floor, build a floor all the way around on the inside and then layer up another wall um you have to build from the inside out on this game you can't just build walls on top of one another that's all messy and they the dwarves can't reach it all of that just i don't need another wall um if that makes sense all i need is for this to have a ceiling my dwarves are one tall there's nothing going on in here that I need to worry about. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go boom. We're going to go constructions. We're going to go floor. And then we're going to come up one layer to here. Actually, I need to cut these trees down because they are going to bother my construction. So we'll cut those down real quick. And we will be ready with the floors. Do I need... No. Okay, so I'm not going to need stairs because my dwarves can walk up here. And they can use this as an access point to get to there. Yeah, makes sense. Constructions, floors. We're going to go boom. Boom. Now, how many do we need is the question. I feel like this is going to be a lot. We need 180. It's not going to be the same color. That kind of bothers me, but also kind of doesn't. Use these shell blocks, and we use as many micro land blocks as we need. Now, we'll also do it here. And we're going to go, same thing, micro land. We use, uh, oh wait, those are, those are stones, not bricks. Let's do mudstone. Yeah, and then there we go. So this will cover up that entrance, and it'll make it impenetrable. There's nothing going to come in, in and out of that. And 
And also, let's go ahead and make machines and fluids. We want a well. And this is, a, put it in open space above water, and it provides an area where you can, you know, collect. Let's do jet, a bucket, rope, and a mechanism. We need more mechanisms. I thought I had made enough. Clearly not. Let's make five. Because I want to put another well in here, too. Can we empty this area of plants? That would be wonderful. Thank you, guys. Okay. See, they're already placing block floors. So they're going to start here and work their way out. And then, um, I'm pretty sure supports. Yeah, they're ornamental, so we don't need one here. Uh, as odd as it looks that there's just going to be nothing holding that up. We're good. We are good. Now, I can't fish out of here also. Uh, which I might do just to keep my fishermen from like coming down here and fishing a bunch. And I think we will be able to keep this from freezing in the winter. Awesome. So, right here. Our dwarves have access to all of this stuff. I think that's what that means. They have access to it. It's not on their bodies, but they have access to it. So they can, they have their weapons. They have all of this stuff. They have their backpacks. They do not have water skins. And I think my flasks... Have I been making my flasks? I haven't made any flasks yet. So, once I do, they will be good to go on them. Let's add another well. Perfect. Wonder why we're waiting on construction for those. Can anybody tell me why on that? Put planters, put him on there. Plant gatherers, put him on there. Or her. Fordham. Whoops, my bad lady. Um, expedition leader, jeweler, miner, jeweler, bone carver. Do I want him doing anything? My bone carver can, uh, plant, gather plants also. I'm fine with that. Okay. So, we have our barracks, um, which has food and and all that. Let's tell them they can grab stuff out of here. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay. Now, I can tell them once I get some more dwarves, I will tell my military to train monthly um, because as of right now, they're not training at all. They're off duty. Um, so they're not getting any better at what they do. I have three of them. Did any of the new ones that came in have any skills? No, they don't. Yuck. Okay. That sucks. We attracted no migrants. That really sucks. I really felt like we made some progress this year. Or this... I don't know what they call it. This area of time. Uh, so we have some more pets and livestock that have given birth. We have five pigs. All females except for the one boar that I brought. Wow. Okay. What about the water buffalo? Yeah, we have another bull water buffalo that's a calf. Okay, so we'll be able to uh, slaughter a bull once this one grows up. Nice. What you'd like to see. Why is... This... Okay, hold on. Metal ores, none. Economic. Don't want coal. Chalk. Lignite. Okay, good. So get get the metal and stuff out of that. I don't want to see that there. Okay. Next, we're. I mean, why are we waiting on construction? Bring the anvil over here. Let's rock and roll, guys. Come on. I feel like I don't have enough people for this. Like this, these constructions should be done. I need that done, like now, because 
if something happens, I have to pull that drawbridge up. That is a hole that they can get into. Also, this roof is. I didn't think about that either. Maybe let's do this. Let's do this. That way, if something does happen... Oh, I don't have any doors. Let's make ten of them. I'm fine with that. Okay, iron shields got completed. Nice. So this is our fruit gathering area, so we don't want to cut wood down there. But I'm cool cutting a couple down right here. I don't want any reasons for birds to be above my fortress. None. I don't like birds. Um, and while that's happening, let's go ahead and cut in some exploratory mining shafts here. Let's just see what's in this area. So it didn't get my stockpile. That's annoying. Um, let's just add that in. There we go. So why is that doing that? Okay, that fixed it. It is there, but for some reason that's doing that. Okay, rock blocks completed. And we still have a ton of blocks. We need more rock blocks. Let's do another 50. Now we do have a lot of wood. I think our next couple stockpiles. We're going to have to find somewhere to put some more stockpiles. Uh, I mean, we could go... We could go up here and stockpile some wood. You know what? Let's do that. Let's stock. Let's make a wood stockpile up here. Um, I'm good with about this size, I think. Here we go. It's even now. That bothered me. All right, copper flask have been completed. Nice. So now they're still working on this ceiling here, but we're we're getting there slowly but surely. And then they're going to start working on our thingamajiggies here. Wells. Our wells. Let's go ahead and put some shale doors down here. That way, if something does happen very soon and things can drop in here, I can lock my doors. Now, it is an issue if it is a troll, because trolls are door breakers and they will break my doors. Um, so let's try not to attract the attention of trolls anytime soon. Still waiting for this construction. I don't know why. It's so odd. Why do I have no seeds for plump helmets? I mean, there's two in that. Plump helmets are only getting used for drinks, right? What was I doing? Work orders? No. Labor. There we go. Kitchen. Restricted from cooking. Allowed to be brewed. Yeah. Okay. Seeds. Oh, I didn't know you could breed or brew for cooking. Oh. Drinks. It's okay to cook with ale. Didn't know you could cook with ale and stuff. That's interesting. Um, permissions, yeah. Eat all that stuff. Okay. We're good. We are good. Looks like we're crafting the... Yep. There's our first well. Nice. So, we're going to make this zone here. We're going to go... This is our water source. Um, I only want people getting water from here. Also, only fish here, because I don't want you guys going outside. Why does it say fishing zero to zero? Is there no fish in that? Is that what you're telling me? What if I did this? Fishing. Yeah, so that fishing has points. Does that mean that there's no fish in here? Is that what you're telling me? I think that's what it's telling me. It's annoying. 
Well, eventually I won't need the fish, so I'm okay with that. Stealing is making good progress. Should have told my caravan to bring more seeds. Because I'm afraid that I'm out. Alright. So frog remains. We got another piglet. Nice. People are just so busy carrying stuff that we're really struggling to uh, get anything else done. There we go. Now we're get that. Perfect. I think it's also, I have a lot of people building due to this. And it is a bit of a walk to go get that stuff and then come up here and place it and all that. So I'll give them a little bit of leeway here. Nice is we have a lot of space here. We have a lot of space here to do stuff. We have a lot of space in here to do stuff. Um, and this is just like our first layer, so super excited about that. Now let's make sure we don't have any holes. I'm not seeing any. This seems to be pretty all together. Now I am worried about when we cut down this tree. If that will leave a hole, I think it will. So I have to watch that because I think cutting the tree, there's roots underneath and I think that pulls or leaves the ground under it as a whole, which would make sense kind of. Yeah, so we're going to finish this up and then we're going to come back for the next episode. I can't even remember what episode we're on. We're doing this like all at one point. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far and uh, join me for the next episode of Fortress of Stones Shattered Kin.